invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Pasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Pasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, Chicago is a big, wonderful city. But it's one thing not so good about a big city. Nobody is to know each other. In our little town in Italy, I'm a walk down the street and a smile. And everybody is a smile back. Over here, if I'm a walk in the street and a smile, everybody thinks I'm a crazy. <laughs> in a smaller town like ours, maybe it's not to have advantage of a big city like a Chicago. But it's so nice. You say hello to everybody, even a goat. <laughs> and if it's a lady goat, you take off your hat. <laughs> Over here, I am once to take off my hat, stand in the street and a smile, and what's to happen? In a half hour, I'm a collector, 45 cents. But the trouble over here, Mamma Mia, is the people always in a big rush. Rush, rush, rush. And they even got a one hour special for rushing. <laughs> That's called the rush hour. <laughs> it's for people who forgot to rush during the daytime so they get one more chance to catch up at the night. <laughs> Everywhere, signs is to tell people to hurry up to save the time. <laughs> Get your hair cut in a 15 minutes. Get your car washed in a 12 minutes. Eat the busy bee lunch in a 10 minutes. <laughs> and yesterday, I'm a sea cemetery advertisement that's to say, make a down a payment and now, why wait? <laughs> you know, Mamma Mia, I think it would be a wonderful thing if all of a sudden... Everybody here is a stop rushing around for one a minute and I say hello to the fella standing next to him. Well, there's no time now for dreaming of Mamma Mia because it's a time for me to go to my night school class. So I'm finishing my letter later. <laughs> Class, let's have some quiet. <laughs> Fine. I'll call the roll now. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Hey, yes. Mr. Schultz? <laughs> well, Mr. Schultz, you're here. Why don't you stay here? I just want to break the monotony. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Enough of that, please. <laughs> Now, class, before we begin our lesson, I think you might be interested in knowing that North Halstead Street, the very street where our school is located, will be 50 years old this week. Yeah. North the Halstead Street? That's where I'm got to my store. And that's where the Pasquale's got his spaghetti palace. Yes, and Mr. Schultz has his delicatessen there. <laughs> now, class, a little arithmetic. <laughs> if the street was begun 50 years ago, who can tell me the exact year? I know, Miss Goldie. I know, I know, I know. Very good, very good. Well, Mr. Schultz, the rest of the class knows the answer. Why don't you? Because it is my great enjoyment in life to make other people look smarter. <laughs> Good morning. I raise my hand first. Please, let me answer. There he goes, the quiz kid with wrinkles. <laughs> All right, Mr. Olson. Now, Halstead Street was begun 50 years ago. It's 1949 now, so what year would that be? 1899. Marked down for 1900. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please pay attention and learn something. God. Now, the 1890s were important years in our nation's progress. Yeah, the, the automobile was invented in 1893. That's very good, Mr. Olson. Now, besides the automobile, does anyone know another invention of the 1890s? Yeah, 
Milan is 1890 French dressing. <laughs> Mr. Basco? Mr. Basco? Huh? You seem to be engrossed in something. Well, Miss Spalding, you tell us before that an old Holster Street is going to be 50 years old this week. Yes, that's right. Well, Miss Spalding, this city is so big. Must be there is not a dozen of people on North Holster Street who know each other. Imagine, people living right next to each other and they're strangers. Luigi, that's very true. What are you getting at, Mr. Basco? Well, I was thinking... Why we don't have a big block party? And everybody is a come and eat and dance and a sing. And everybody gets to know each other and a be friends. Uh, you, Benjamin, Luigi, that, that was just a wonderful idea. Luigi, you deserve credit. Oh, Luigi, my friend, you got a brain. It's so smart, it should be in a bottle. <laughs> I love black parties with the colored lights strung across the street, people dancing all night. <laughs> I remember once our district alderman gave a black party, and you should have seen. The finest food was passed around like hotcakes, and the champagne flowed like water. But sure, sir, that sounds expensive. Hotcakes and water is expensive? <laughs> Look, Luigi, don't worry about the expense. Schmeil. For my own delicatessen, I will donate food. And Pasquale, that sheepskate, he'll donate too. I'll string up the lights and take care of the decoration. And I, go, I will go around and get the whole neighborhood. Now, I think the best way to handle this is to form a committee. Oh, <laughs> Spalding, you hit the hammer right on the thumb. <laughs> We're going to have a block party committee meeting right after class, and everything's going to be arranged. Oh, sure, sir. I think you wonderful. Oh, stop, Luigi. <laughs> this is all your idea, and if any credit must be handed out... Yes, sir. I want you should hand it to me. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, something wonderful has happened. I'm so happy I feel like he's singing. What's happened? Your Uncle Pietro's a goat, is a die, and a leave your Uncle Pietro? <laughs> no, no, Pasquale, it's better than that. Monday night... Hollister Street is going to have a birthday party. And... Stop. Street is going to have a birthday? That's right. I suppose it comes at midnight, the fire hydrants is going to shake hands with the lampposts, sir. <laughs> and maybe the mayors are going to go around kissing the manhole covers. Hello, Pasquale. Let me explain to you. Miss Pauling was to tell us today how our street was started 50 years ago. So I say, why do we not have a black party and a celebrate? Oh, then it's a real thing. That's what I'm telling you. Olsen is telling all the people. We're going to get the music. Horowitz is going to put up with the lights. And Schultz, Schultz is ahead of the committee. Oh, that smart, delicatessen, man. He's already take over, eh? Luigi, if you get a such idea, why you go to everybody else when you should come to me? Fellows will bring you from the older country. After all, I'm the most respectable man here. Don't you know I'm ahead of the block? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Pasquale. I should have come to you. You're the real block ahead. <laughs> It's a funny thing, and when I'm a say it, it's to come out a different. <laughs> well, but, buddy, I hope you, I hope you're not a mad because we figure you're gonna give a lot of food for the party. Food for the party, I'm not gonna, gonna. Uh, sure, sure, Luigi. Not only I'm going to give food, but I'm going to see it's going to be music. People should have died. Oh, Pasquale, you going to hire an orchestra? No, an organ. Organ? Pasquale, what for is organ? Play, here comes the bride. <laughs> is it for my daughter, Rosa? Huh? Who's she going to marry? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my son. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Papa. <laughs> You little fool. You know, Mary Rose, you get a nutteg. I'm not giving no food. You got a no party. You're sitting around like a bunch of Republicans. Yeah, but Pasquale, the people is already invited, and I'm already promised. Promise, promise, promise. Only promise I'm interested in is when you sing it to Rosa, oh, promise me. Oh, 
Pasquale. I... Luigi, Luigi, everything is all arranged. Just, just so we got a no party. Pasquale is a no give a food unless I'm a Mary Rossi. Him. Hello, Schultz. What's brought you here? The stock. And what brought you here, eh, Bolsha? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Mr. Delicatessen, man. Why are you flying off the handlebars? Because all of you are taking advantage of my friend, the stupid little dumb cop. <laughs> Now, please, please, I shall see you making me blush. Luigi, you stay out of this. It don't concern you. Yeah, shut up. Don't you dare tell him to shut up. If anybody should tell him to shut up, I'm his friend. I'm going to tell him to shut up. <laughs> Luigi, who you want should tell you to shut up? I'm going to want to start a fight. I'm going to shut up myself. Luigi, why are you wasting your time with this stupid block of party? Give my Rosa a ring and get her married, have a 10 or 15 of bambini. You raise your own block. <laughs> Listen, Pasquale, stop playing ring around the rosa. Are you giving in food for the party or no? Absolutely not. Mr. Delicatessen, man, I'm leaving that a pleasure to you. You can give all the food you want. Oh, a smart cop, huh? Well, if that's the case, I'm giving nothing. Not one stitch of salami. Oh, oh Schutz, Schutz, what are you saying? Just because of Pasquale is acting like that, you've got to act the same way? That's right. If he's going to act like a chagas, I'm going to prove to him I'm twice the chagas he'll ever be. <laughs> No use to talk anymore. No, Schutze, Schutze, please, don't go. No, I was going to give 500 Wiener schnitzels. But after seeing the way Pasquale acts, I don't give a schnitz. <laughs> He's a twice of the jackass I am. Huh. Got to get up early in the morning to do that. Huh. Hey, Luigi, come on. We go down to Dave's radio store. We watch the television in the window. They got a western with some new Italian star. Hop along a Cassini. <laughs> hey, Luigi. You want a jelly bean? He's your favorite flavor. Licorice. Oh, listen, Luigi. Forget this a block of party idea about the people talking to each other and being a friend. You see anybody worrying about you? In America, you worry about yourself. Just to make it a buck, keep your nose in your own plate. Hey, Luigi. Oh. Hey, Luigi. Using my handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Just to wipe your eyes. <laughs> in just a moment. We want to get the good word to you that Luigi and his friends will be back on Tuesday night again over most of these same CBS stations. Remember, Life with Luigi on CBS Tuesday nights from now on. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I was up all the night to worry you know, because the Schultz and the Pasquale is not give a food for the block party. I'm going to have the heart to disappoint all the people who are going to come to the party. So first I think maybe I should use all of my money to buy the food. But it's not going to be enough, three hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> but more than anything, I'm like a Schultz and a Pasquale. should be friends again. And this party should be a success. If only I'm going to have the money to buy food. Mamma mia, I'm got so much money troubles and nobody to tell them to. Then I'm going to think. The bank. Sure. They got a one girl there just to listen to you. Because over her is a sign that says, tell her. <laughs> so I'm going to go right now to the bank and tell her. Mr. Basco, I'm Mr. Hudson, manager of this bank. The teller informs me you're interested in obtaining a loan, is that right? That's right. You see, I've got a problem well, and... Well, uh, how much do you want? How much have you got? <laughs> Mr. Basco, our bank has assets of over three million dollars. Oh, I'm going to want that too much. Uh, just how much are we thinking of borrowing? Well, now, let me see. 
Who should have at least uh, two, three hundred pounds of a bologna and a salami? What? Three hundred pounds of a spaghetti. That's not the count of the meatballs. Also, 50 pies, a huckleberry apple, and a strawberry. Yes, yes, Mr. Bosco. Also, I think uh, 200 pickles will be enough. Uh, Mr. Hudson, uh, how many slices do you get from a pickle? Well, I don't know. I think my wife gets four. Oh, she's a slicer big. I'm going to get eight the slices. <laughs> yeah, 200 pickles is more than enough. Now, how much do you think is it going to cost for bread to feed so many people? Well, what kind of bread are you getting? White, rye, or pumpernickel? Any kind that you got. There. We've got them all. Well, all right. I'll take them all. <laughs> well, that should go... Mr. Basco, what's this loan for? It's for a party. You're borrowing money to make a party? Uh, this party is not for me. It's a black party. Hollister Street is going to be 50 years old. Schultz and Pasquale, you know them? Yes, they're depositors. Here. Well, they was going to bring a food for a party, but they changed your mind. I'm going to want to disappoint people, so I'm going to pay. Please, Mr. Hudson. Well, Mr. Basco, this is very irregular. Even if I wanted to grant you this loan, what collateral do you have? Huh? <laughs> security. What security can you give us to insure the loan? Well, uh... I'm just the one to make the people happy. They should all get to know each other. Making people happy? What kind of security is that? That's the biggest kind of security I know. <laughs> Mr. Basco, our bank has been on Halstead Street for many years, and... And the what, Mr. Hudson? Well, by gosh, I think your block party is an excellent idea. <laughs> I'll see to it that it goes on. Oh, Mr. Hudson, are you going to give me the money? You go ahead with your party plans and all the food will be there. Mamma mia. And I don't know worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm going to pay you back every penny. Please, ma maybe you come to the party, too? Well, I have an engagement Tuesday night, but I'll try to make it. Oh, Mr. Hudson, you fine a man. And you make a wonderful automobile. Someday I'm going to buy one. Go buy <laughs> What the party is it going to be? America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. So that's a wonderful dance. Luigi, you're a wonderful dancer, isn't he, Esther? Yeah, Luigi, how is it you should dance so good at Jewish dance? Well, I'm a think deeper down underneath the feet, all the dancers are the same. Hello, it's time to see you dance to the Irish reel. You dance even better than O'Reilly. The Irish reel? To me, that's a Russian gazatsky keep it up, bro. <laughs> Everybody. How are Miss Foley? Oh, what a wonderful party. Mr. Basco, the food's delicious. Mr. Schultz and Mr. Pasquale really fixed things up nicely, didn't they? Yes, they fixed the things. Uh, Miss Spaulding, I would like to ask your question, please. <laughs> yes, what is it, Mrs. Harwood? Uh, my husband, he's a good boy in school. He behaves himself. <laughs> well. Believe me, Esther, it's a pleasure to stay after school with Miss Spaulding. Why? <laughs> Oh, I'm a Spalding. Have you seen Schultz or Pasquale any place? Well, I did see Mr. Pasquale. He's been standing there behind that lamppost. I can't understand it. Well, excuse me. I'm going to go over and talk to him. Hey. Hey, Pasquale. Why are you just standing there watching the people? Well, I'm a got a right to watch. You walk along with the stores, you go in the shopping. Well, I'm a just standing here watching the people. I'm a people of shopping. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, you, you asked me to look for someone. Look what I found. Now, oh, listen, stop dragging me by the ear. I am not a cooker spaniel. Schultz, <laughs> help us, Who are you two no shake your hands and a be friends? Oh, Schultz is a hair. I'm a thought the wind is a shifting from the stockyards. <laughs> That's all he can say. Old radio jokes. Is that so? I'm a make that up from my own head. What head? The only thing you got between your ears is a meatball. <laughs> no, please, please. Shoot the Pasquale. It's a block party. Have a fun. Enjoy. Hey, hey, Olsen, call Ralph of the Angelus. Tell him to sing and we all start the bigger dance. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Hey, hey Ralph. Yes? Hey, Ralph, start a new song now. Ladies and gentlemen, hold the hands of whoever is standing next to you, and we're going to dance all around the block. Oh, that's wonderful. Dance around the block. Oh, oh, oh. The matter 
Chiara. Yeah. All right, uh, Schultz and Pasquale, you stand next to each other and hold the hand. No, no, we're not going to hold the hands over the head. All right, uh, then you both to hold my hands. Uh, come on. the dancer. It was wonderful, Luigi. I found a friend. <laughs> right, Pasquale? That's all right, the Schultz. We were just two grown-ups acting like a little baby. Yeah, but we are not acting like babies no more. Pasquale, I apologize for starting the fight with you. It's not your fault, the Schultz. I was the one as a star. What are you talking about? I was the one who... <laughs> Don't oh, no, 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 wait, the please, shoot the Pasquale, you're starting a fight again. <laughs> you're right, Luigi. I'm feeling so good tonight, better than ever I've felt. That's a fine, Pasquale. In fact, I'm feeling so good, I'm not even going to ask you to marry Rosa. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. I'm going to let Rosa ask you herself. <laughs> Rosie, come here. Say hello to Luigi. Hello, <laughs> Luigi. Hello, Rosie. Well, Rosie, Luigi's feeling the good tonight. But now is the time to pop the question. Again. Oh, Mr. Basco. Oh, Mr. Hudson. Did you just come? Well, I got here in time to join that last dance, and I enjoyed it very much, too. But uh, I have to leave now, and before I go, I, I thought I'd give you these bills for the food. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, the bills. Uh, please, Mr. Hudson, I, I take up a word of you in a bank tomorrow. Well, I'd rather settle them now. Uh, uh, here, here they are. All right. Uh, bill for $50 from... Uh, under 50 uh, Mr. Hudson, uh, you bought all of the food from a Schultz and a Pasquale. Now, wait a minute. You got me all for shimmered. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hudson, you mean to say the food I sold you is now being served here? Yes. Himmel. And I've been telling everybody how terrible it was. <laughs> no, no, I merely bought the food for Mr. Basco. Rather than let this block party fall through, he undertook to pay for everything himself. Well, I don't, don't know what it should I'm going to pay you back. Every penny profit I'm going to make from my business is going to go to you until you get your $50. That long, I ain't going to live. <laughs> oh, you little donko, Luigi. You don't owe me nothing. I'm happy to give the food. And, uh, mmm, it was delicious. <laughs> I should, 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 and uh, should. you, Mr. Pasquale, uh, when do you want your bill paid? When or not, the Halstead Street is 150 years old. <laughs> Luigi, I think you're right. You keep your nose in your own plate. What do you get is a nose full of gravy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Pasquale. You think I'm going to take the money from your little pumpkin head? <laughs> Come on, Luigi. Let's start a dance again. Come on, Luigi. Oh, Luigi, don't just stand there like that. Hey, Luigi. Oh. Hey, Luigi, use my handkerchief. <laughs> That's the second of hand. So, Mamma Mia, today was the happiest day of my life. You sure to see all those people who's living on the same street for so long, and it's the first time that they stop to say hello to each other. It's to give everybody a good feeling. One man, he's an encyclopedia salesman. He's a get to like me so much, he's to give me the first book of free. <laughs> now, all I'm going to do is buy the other 19. <laughs> Mamma mia, I can just see how you would give your biggest smile to see all those different people are dancing together. It was the people who first come from Ireland, Poland, France, Germany, Italy. And when I see them all joining together, it was like international hamburger. <laughs> and when Schultz and Pasquale hold their hands and become friends, everybody was so happy. Mamma mia. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all the nations, they have big parties and a whole of hands all around the world. And instead of making a bigger blockbusters, they think how to make bigger block parties. Well, a good night, Mamma Mia. Tonight, I'm asleep good. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Be sure to listen next Tuesday night, the day after tomorrow, over most of these stations, when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco, describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production, and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman, and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Bob Stevenson speaking. As we told you earlier, Life with Luigi will be back next Tuesday night and every Tuesday thereafter over most of these same CBS stations. And in this spot on Sundays, another of the great stars who have joined the CBS parade, Red Skelton. Don't miss this first Red Skelton show on most of these same stations next Sunday night and laugh with Red on every Sunday thereafter. Eve Arden in Our Miss Brooks, Jack Benny, Amos and Andy, Edgar Bergen, and Charlie McCarthy, followed by Red Skelton. There's a wonderful two and a half hours of laughter in the middle of Sunday evenings on this network, CBS, this fall. And now stay tuned for Corliss Archer, who follows immediately over most of these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs>